guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. For today's video, we're finally going to be talking about a product that I know so many of you have been curious about for a long time at this point. I can easily say that this is the product that I have been asked about the most over the past several months, and that is the K18 hair mask. I feel like I was pretty much seeing the same kinds of comments and messages from you guys about this, basically saying that all of you are hearing that this is supposed to be the absolute best hair repair product on the market right now. So obviously I had to test it out for you guys. In this video, we will talk about how this is supposed to work. I'll show you how to use it on the hair. And of course, I will show you my personal results in using it because I did use it for the full six weeks. So we'll do a little before and after. And I'll let you know, in my opinion, if I think that this is something that's worth the hype, worth the purchase, or is completely skippable altogether. So if you've been curious about this, you've come to the right spot. We are going to dive into a lot today. So before we do, if you could please give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. All of those things really help me out and support me with the YouTube algorithm. So thank you so much for doing that. Instagram and TikTok handle are right here and my Lightroom preset filters for editing Instagram photos are listed in my description box below along with links, discount codes, timestamps, and everything else you may need from me. All right, let's jump into it. Before we begin, I would like to take a moment of silence for the fact that I forgot to brush my hair for this entire video and it looks like I have a rat's nest on the side of my face. Okay, let's jump into it. Okay, so I thought we could just quickly pull up their website and kind of talk through what this is supposed to be for those of you that are not really familiar with this product. So this is supposed to be an at-home leave-in treatment that's infused with a K18 peptide, which is a trademarked ingredient that K18 owns the trademark for, so they created it. It says it works to repair even the most extreme damage, renewing hair to its most youthful, healthy state. So essentially this is supposed to be a miracle in a little bottle, in a very little bottle at that. We'll get to that because they do claim to repair any and all kind of hair damage really. So whether you're somebody that has damage from bleach, coloring, chemical services, heat, UV exposure, water, this is supposed to be a solution for that. And there's so many different benefits that they claim that you will see in using this. So I just wanna quickly read through those. It's supposed to improve the strength, softness, smoothness, and bounce of the hair. You're supposed to have less brittle hair and less breakage after coloring services, less noticeable split ends, decreased frizz, and improved manageability. So when I was first asked about this several months ago, I looked into it, I was like, oh my gosh, this sounds amazing. I would love to try it, definitely really innovative. And then I saw the price point and I paused for a moment because she's not cheap. This is $75 for 1.7 ounces of product. So the frugal in me started sweating a little bit, but because I started to get so many requests, was hearing such good things, I was like, all right, we're gonna purchase it because while that kind of money is not my first choice for the amount of product that you get, if this ended up being something that really, really worked and I loved, then that's a price point that I personally would be willing to spend, but I know not everybody is. So obviously all of those benefits sound incredible, but you guys know me, I'm never really taking what a brand says at face value. I like to pull out my hair textbooks, look into things further to really figure out how this is supposed to work. So I wanted to read a couple of the things that I found really interesting about this. So K18 actually had a bioengineer working on this for 10 years, which is kind of crazy to think about. Talk about your life's work. And he discovered a bioactive peptide seed sequence, which is K18's peptide. It's a peptide that's supposed to penetrate deeply into the hair to reconnect broken polypeptide chains and disulfide bonds. So this is something that I actually talked about in a recent video that I posted where I compared a lot of popular bond repair products and really broke down the differences between them and kind of bond repair as a claim in total. So if you've been curious about that, and if that is really a legitimate claim and how that's supposed to work, then I will list that video below. But in that video, I was talking about the fact that our hair is primarily made up of keratin, and keratin is made up of millions of amino acids. Those amino acids will be linked together by peptides to form what is called a polypeptide. The polypeptide, sorry, bear with me, this is just gonna be a second, but I feel like this connects everything. The polypeptide will actually cross link with side bonds like disulfide bonds and that is what forms a complex protein that gives our hair its elasticity and strength. And the peptide bonds in our hair are actually very strong but they're definitely not bulletproof and if just a few break the hair becomes weak and damaged as a result. So that is where the K18 peptide comes into the picture. It's supposed to help to reconnect those broken polypeptide bonds and disulfide bonds to re-strengthen the hair essentially. So the primary purpose for this product 
is essentially just to act as a vehicle for that peptide and allow that peptide to penetrate the hair as effectively as possible. So it's not a deep conditioning treatment. It's not a hair mask. It's not going to be something that feels luxurious and creamy. We don't have any other ingredient highlights to call out like oils and butters because again, that's not the purpose or intended use for this product and that would prevent that peptide from penetrating the hair properly. So while we're not going to dive into ingredient highlights in that way, there's a couple things that I've seen a lot of questions about that I wanted to touch on quickly from an ingredients perspective. So in looking at the back of the ingredients list, you can see that denatured alcohol is actually the second ingredient and a little bit further down is isopropyl alcohol. Those are both forms of volatile alcohols. They're not the same thing as a fatty alcohol. There's actually one of those on this label too, cedarol alcohol, and that is fourth on the label. So fatty alcohols are completely different than volatile alcohols. I talked about that in a recent video where I busted a bunch of common hair myths. I will list that below if you would like to know more about that topic and really the difference between them. But volatile alcohols like denatured alcohol are known to be more drying and have been heavily scrutinized and demonized because of that. But they also act as solvents, and in this situation, they were added to this formulation very intentionally. So K18 actually has a little Q&A section, and they specifically talked about this because I'm sure they've gotten so many questions from people that look at ingredients and are like, what the heck, that's going to dry out my hair? They say that they added those alcohols specifically to help to lift the cuticle so that the peptide can penetrate the hair as efficiently and effectively as possible and really penetrate the innermost layer. So it's not not like they're trying to put something in here to dry out our hair of course it was formulated this way so that it can work as best as it possibly can so if anyone was wondering my thoughts on that I'm not concerned about it whatsoever and the other thing that I think confuses people about this product is whether or not it's supposed to be a protein treatment because it does have hydrolyzed wheat protein on the label and I think a lot of people at this point know that peptides are the building blocks of protein so a couple of things here number one the brand did say that they only added a very small amount of hydrolyzed wheat protein and the second is that peptides are not going to behave on the hair in the same way that proteins do. So if you're not really familiar with proteins, they absolutely can benefit damaged hair because they'll temporarily seal split ends, help to protect the hair from future damage or those split ends getting worse. But it's really, again, a temporary solution and not one that's long-term. And proteins can also build up on the hair. So they're not going to work the same for everybody or the best for everybody. Peptides, while yes, they're the building blocks of protein, are not going to do the same thing as proteins, and especially in this situation where they've actually created a trademarked peptide, this is not supposed to be something that builds up on the hair whatsoever. All right, so now that we know all of the most important details about this product, let's actually talk about how to use it. So you will use this on the day that you wash your hair, so you'll shampoo first, but you'll actually skip conditioner and we're gonna talk about how that personally affected my life in a second. So shampoo, towel dry the hair, and then you are ready to apply K18. So you will apply anywhere from one to four pumps of product. You do not need more than that, and it's going to depend on how much hair you have, or if you have fine hair strands or coarse hair strands. So they do have a little chart to kind of help to guide you. And then you'll go ahead and apply that all over. They do say from root to tip, but you don't need to focus it up here. Of course, you're gonna to wanna to focus the product where you have the most damage. So for me, that is from chin length all the way down to my ends. So for me personally, I did feel that I needed at least three pumps to cover my hair. While my hair strands are fine, I have a lot of hair. And especially when I was using this, my hair was super, super long. So I did feel like I needed between three to four, but part of the problem I think is just because my hair is so, so, so tangly that I was having a hard time evenly spreading it throughout my hair. And then that made me feel that I needed more product as a result. So the formulation is very, very lightweight. It's like a lotion. It's easy to emulsify in the hand so that you can spread it out to allow that to spread more evenly. But because I could not use conditioner, my hair was even tanglier. So I already have a tangly mess no matter what, even with conditioner and deep conditioning masks, because that's just my hair type, unfortunately. So that was the biggest problem for me in this process is my hair was just so difficult to manage. Not only was I struggling to evenly spread that because of the knots, and it's hard to spread even with knots like that, but then that just made subsequent brushing and combing difficult and I feel like my hair looked a little bit disastrous. I'm going to be honest on the days that I use this because I couldn't use conditioner 
and that just doesn't suit my hair type, you know? Thankfully, you are able to use a leave-in conditioner after you apply K18, but you're just going to want to wait four minutes before you go ahead and move on with any leave-in conditioner or if you don't need one with styling so that that can kind of fully penetrate and activate, as they say. So I 100% needed to use that leave-in conditioner. I actually ended up using a detangling spray and a leave-in conditioning cream slash lotion every single time that I use this, which I do anyway when I use conditioner. So even that, I was like, oh my God, my hair hates me. All right, now what I'm sure all of you guys have been waiting for this entire video, you're like, can you shut up already and show us the results? We are going to talk about before and afters and how I felt this worked on my hair. So my hair before, when I say it was in a state, it was in a state. I have not seen my hair this distressed in a long time. And there was a couple different things going on, but I feel like it made for the perfect situation for me to test out a product like this to really see if it would work. Because number one, I hadn't gotten my hair cut in a few months and I didn't realize how backed up the salon was. So when I tried to make my appointment, I still had to wait a couple months. So I was like, um, this isn't gonna work. I battled through it, but my ends at that point, it's past the point of return. You know, you can't fix that. They have been through enough. They just need to go. They need to be chopped immediately. So they were looking very frazzled and distressed, but especially because as a lot of you guys know, I tested out rice water months ago at this point, but that has really affected my hair long term and just made it so much more brittle than it ever used to be. So it's been a whole journey trying to heal that. And so again, I feel like I was actually in a really good position to try this to see if it truly worked because the breakage and brittleness is not something that I typically deal with which is why I'm done with rice water. So what they recommend is to use this for your first four to six consecutive washes. And then after that, you can use it every three to four washes as needed. So I wanted to try the full six for the purpose of this video. And because I only wash my hair once a week, that means this took me six full weeks. So that's why it took so long. But I will say for the first couple of weeks, I was freaking out a little bit because my hair was looking more frazzled than I was used to and like my ends just weren't as sealed as they normally are so I was like is this making my hair worse what's going on oh my gosh not again another thing that I try and have it completely fail but I wasn't really connecting the dots that at first it looked like that because I was not using conditioner and my hair desperately needs conditioner. It's just, it's not even, it's not even up for debate. So I had to really trust the process and try to calm myself down. And I'm really glad I did because at the six week mark, I feel that I ended up with really impressive results. I can genuinely say that. So I feel like there are two major benefits that I've personally seen. The first is that my hair absolutely is stronger. I'm noticing significantly less breakage. It feels less brittle. I don't feel like I'm going to hear a snap every time that I brush my hair, which is kind of where I was at before. I don't wish that feeling on my worst enemy, honestly. It was the worst. And I really thought the only thing that was gonna help was to get my hair cut, but I was pleasantly surprised to see that that really did help the brittleness of my hair. And then just overall, I think it did definitely look healthier too. My ends did not look nearly as distressed. My split ends weren't as obvious. It tightened me up on ends that I thought again were a completely lost cause. And then I think really the only other major benefits that they talked about is that your hair is supposed to feel softer and look shinier. I do think it looks shinier, maybe not in an incredibly drastic way, but I noticed an improvement in shine. I don't think I really felt a difference in the softness of my hair. Like I said, it felt stronger, but I've always had really, really soft hair, so I wasn't really expecting much of a difference there. But it feels good, like it feels healthy, finally. So final thoughts on the K18 hair mask. I did not want to love this. I really didn't want to. I tried hard not to because of the price point. I was like, my God, am I seriously going to have to repurchase this if I love it? And I guess I am because I do love it. And I can genuinely say that I plan to repurchase this with my own money because of the results that I saw. On their website, they do say that you're supposed to get 50 doses per bottle, but my guess is that one dose equals one pump. So if you're like me and you need more than one pump for your full head of hair, then it's not going to last 50 uses. And I want to know how much damage I did with just six uses, but obviously I can't. I can't see through this packaging. So I'm guessing it's not going to last nearly as long as that, but I do plan to repurchase this 
because it freaking works for me and I really wasn't expecting to see those kinds of results. So if it's within your budget, I would recommend it. I think it's a great product. And not only did I have a great experience, but I really do love the science behind it too. So that's everything that I have to say about this. I am dying to hear your thoughts. Have you tried this out? Did you see good results? Did you not see good results? Are you interested in purchasing it after watching this video? And if so, I will have it listed in my description box below if you wanna look into it further or if you're gonna go ahead and purchase. So let me know either way or if it's something that you're gonna skip altogether. And also, if there are any questions that you have about this product that I didn't answer in this video, leave them in the comments below because I'm going to try to get in contact with the brand with your guys' questions to do a follow-up video, kind of like I did with my Olaplex video where I talked about the most effective ways to use it after working with a brand, well not working with, harassing the brand, hunting them down and being like, answer these questions. I want to do that again with K18. So let me know what your questions are in the comments below and I will send those off to them and try to get responses to as many as I can and do a part two. So that is everything. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Again, click on that notification bell, send my channel to a friend, subscribe to my channel, do all of those things because they help me out so much. Thank you again for doing that. Stay tuned for my next video because that will be up in a few days, but until then, I hope you have a great few days.